Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel for a new video. We are working on the Mark 7 GTI today. Um, so a couple of GTI videos in a row, no big deal. If you don't like it, skip off this one. Um, but we are going to be installing the EQT grounding kit, the Pro grounding kit. So just to get right into this, there are your coil packs on the MQB engine. And the wiring harnesses go up through here to your coil packs and there's these little grounding nuts that go on each coil pack. So Volkswagen uses oval bolts with the aluminum cam cover and these all are really annoying to get off because you try to loosen this to get the, um, the grounding cable off, the whole thing spins, uh, your head gets stripped out, the bolts get all in the way and it's really just annoying if you're trying to like quickly take these off and do a spark plug change or something like that. So doing a modification now will save us time in the future. It's also supposed to help with longevity of the wires and like spark strength and grounding strength and all of that. Uh, I don't have an issue with mine, but just so I don't have an issue in the future, we're gonna be replacing it. And what we got is from EQT. Um, if you guys know EQT, they do like tunes and turbos and stuff like that. I actually have a stage two tune and we are going to be installing their pro kit. It is like military grade wire with really nice heat shrink and shielding and little wire plugs and all of that. So we're going to get this open. They do sell another kit that has all, um, grounding, I don't know what these are called, but the little uh, circle things, they put one on each one and it just grounds it directly. So like you get rid of these wires and it would just ground directly to the ground source. But for a little bit cleaner look and a little bit more effort, you can do the pro kit. And we've got the, uh, what are they called? Depinning tools. I don't know which one I'm supposed to use because there's so many, but we're gonna figure it out. Um, I watched a video uh, and it seemed like it'd be pretty easy. So we're just gonna get right into it. I think this is gonna be a quick install. We've got a couple things to do. Uh, I'm not gonna walk you through it, but I'll show all the steps. And yeah, so in the end, we're just gonna have the one bolt in there compared to the uh, nut over the bolt. It's just a little bit cleaner, not that you see it, cause I like the engine cover. So let's just go ahead and get started by removing all of these nuts and getting all of the old wires out.
All right, and that is basically it. So we've got our new bolts holding down our coil packs, routed the wires into the uh, coil plug connectors and running underneath each little of the plastic retainers, zip tied a couple wires together here, to keep it clean, goes right down here and into the grounding nut on the side of the engine bay. So that's it, it's way cleaner. You just add this one little wire, but you know, not that big of a deal. I don't think it's gonna rub on anything. It's pretty thick and doesn't vibrate too much. So should be good. I tried to find a way to route it behind the coolant tank, but I couldn't really fish it through anywhere. So this is where it's gonna be for now. Otherwise, that's it. So all we need to do now is just throw the engine cover back on and wrap this install up, but that's it. Super easy. Just get a couple little tools and just for your reference, here's the old stuff. Um, I'm gonna keep it just in case. Um, but yeah, you don't really need these anymore. So that's it. EQT grounding kit installed on the Mark 7 GTI. So that is gonna be it for me in this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. In our next golf video, we should be installing the ECS tuning brake master cylinder brace. And if I don't do that next, then we'll be doing hopefully the Aerofab rear diffuser. Don't know when that's coming. Haven't gotten a shipping notification for it yet, but we'll see. Uh, Cause I'd rather install the Aerofab stuff because I've just been dying to get that whenever it was gonna be re-released. So we'll see about that. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Be sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button below. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below and I'll see you in the next one.